I hate to say this. So, Jabril was texting me a little while ago. Chat. This, this was maybe like, I don't know, like five or six days ago. I'm starting to somewhat, and I can't believe I'm saying this. So don't you guys be making videos against me. I'm starting to like lean towards the Max C shouldn't come back side. And I know I've been on the other side of that for a long time, but I don't know. I was wrong. No, I'm not saying that I'm wrong. I just, I don't, my opinion is, I don't even know if it's fully changed. It's just a little jarring. And I mean, in the grand scheme, I don't care because I don't play a combo deck, right? You know what I mean? Maxi just, I don't, I don't really care, but it's just, I don't know. So, okay. What Jabril was saying, okay. What Jabril was saying, he kind of made a point. He was like, why do you think that decks like Liralus, Tri Brigade, or why do you think in the OCG, they can have like full power windups? I mean, they don't have Hunter, but they have like full power Spiral and full power windups and full power, power at Emancipator chat with, with Block Dragon and all this shit at three and like all those decks suck. And he was like, because the entire format just revolves around one single card. And if you get Max Seed and you basically just can't stop, then your deck is bad, essentially. Because you can't, you know, it's, it's not conceivable, Chad. Like, it's not realistic to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Or to think that, it doesn't matter how many negates this guy makes. Like, Dark Ruler No More can break every negate that you put up. Every one of them. So, you know, like, this board ain't gonna beat this many cards in hand. Jabril said things um, you guys have been saying for three years, but I listened this time. You guys never said that! You got no, no, no. You guys never said Cap G that the format. I mean, uh, whatever. Um, he said that like if you play PKs in the OCG, you play it as like a, a control deck. If if you get Max Seed, then you just stop, make DP, and just pass turn. You know what I mean? I definitely said that. Well, I know Big Pimpin didn't say that. Like these are points that you guys never made. Cap G hates roaches, so it would. I'm not saying it would make our format worse. But it would 100% like super warp our format chat. Like if you play a if you play a combo deck and you can't stop, then your deck just becomes like not viable basically. Hello highlight channel. We told you why cross out would flop. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not the one who ran cross out in their main deck and said it stops impermanence and effect veiler. And cross out was always bad, but some people in our Twitch chat big pimpin. Decided to play the card anyways. Well, okay, hold on. Do these combos only work if you if your opponent gives you like 20 cards? Also? We literally told you this. Alright, press one if you literally told me this, chat. You can only <laughs> Yes. If you don't see the game through the prism of Eldritch, are you even playing Yu-Gi-Oh? You know what I mean, chat? So yeah, I guess these combos only work if uh, you have like 15 cards. But Spy Fox, I congratulate you for uh, trading combos. I, I don't know. It's just, it's it's kind of changed my opinion a little bit, chat. I don't know. Again, it wouldn't affect me. Oh, wow. It's it's great, chat. Looking looking at Yu-Gi-Oh! and like Master Rule 3 and not having the... I'm like, where are the... Where are the <laughs> I'm like, where are the extra monster zones? <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, even looking at the old board is just weird. Like, where, where are the extra monster zones at? Why aren't you using them? Anyways. You know, I, I wonder if that would make our game better or worse, chat. You know what I mean? If if you had the... If, if you... I mean, I guess a deck like Sword Soul could kind of stop. Yeah, I, I, Sword Soul would probably be able to stop. If you, if you like, max... If they went, like, normal summon Mo Yi... And you went, and they went like a fact, and you max seed them. Okay, so you summon token, draw one. They synchro first, she shall draw another one, and then you just get the trap and pass. And like that becomes like your pseudo defensive play is like having an Icarus attack or whatever. But it's 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 better than giving your opponent ten cards. You know what I mean? Um, so like that deck could kind of stop, but like bird deck couldn't stop chat. If uh. If you activate, like, what, Warbler is the one where you, you, like, you special summon it when you have no monsters on field, and then it special summons from hand. If someone max seeds you there, there, there is no stopping, chat. Because your your play is to go for the, the, the Recite Starling and just search. 
but you can't just end recite Starling Pass. Like that's that's not a viable Yu-Gi-Oh play. That doesn't stop anybody or do anything. Spy Fox did more for Preta Plants than Triff did for Pendulums. Rip. What is what is Triff's legacy then? Um, Extra Monsters Only Monsters is 2016, and this new deck called Zodiac Beast just got revealed in Japan. You know what I was thinking about, chat? Not too long ago. When's the last time, chat, that like the Yu-Gi-Oh community came to, the, to, came to a consensus that an archetype was just going to be absolutely busted and then it just was? Because I feel like whenever that happens, I feel like we're usually wrong. Because I'm really trying to... I know the deck building packs have been all like crazy deceptive. Zodiac? But did people say zoo, zoo were going to be busted though? And hold on, before you answer... I don't mean after we learn the combos. I'm talking about the second we read the cards. Like, I get it. It's a little hard to contextualize, right? But I don't... I, 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 I reviewed the zoo cards. No one said that. Like, no one no one was like... I mean, probably should have, but... Back when they were... They were called, what? Junishishi chat? Weren't they called Junishishi when they first came out? You mean... Yeah, yeah. I mean, Big Pimpin. I mean, like, yes. The second they're reviewed... The second they're revealed... Basically, when I'm talking about the first 24-hour window when people like me, Drew, and Robbie will make videos on them, like, I'm talking about that. You know what I mean? I don't feel like anyone was like, yo, this archetype is going to break the fucking game. This one is strong. I mean, I know Dragon Rulers. I definitely said that with Dragon Rulers. True Draco? I don't, I don't actually remember True Draco, to be honest. Because I feel like, chat, the last time that the Yu-Gi-Oh! community has, like, gassed archetypes up, it's been, like, Musketeers... Flew Wander, like those are the ones that people have said instantly out the gate. This is tier one without a doubt, 100%. And I thought about it, chat, and I was like, I feel like it almost never happens with the deck building sets, chat. Have you guys noticed that? The deck building archetype, like the, the archetypes from the deck building packs have been insanely good, but they're also so just different. They're also so weirdly constructed that it like, it makes them look bad, chat. You know what I mean? Like, who said Sky Striker were broken? Not me. Because I looked at it, I was like, hold on. So, there's only one monster. And you can't have any other cards in the main monster zones or none of your cards work? I was like, this is going to suck. And then we know how that turned out. You know what I mean? Ad Emancipator, like... I didn't think that those were busted until I actually saw the replays. You know what I mean? Nightmares, uh, sounds like a video idea. And yeah, everyone said Brave Token was bad, chat. Like, no one said anything in that deck was, or in that set was good. Uh, I don't remember my exact opinion on Eldritch, but if you look at Eldritch, chat, do the cards really look like, if you just looked at it on paper, it's just a bunch of kind of like shitty toolbox cards. Like, oh, you get to pop one monster, like one face, is that broken? You know what I mean? Except me. Yeah, Big, Big, Big Pimpin claims he's the only one, even though he also says they had potential. Potential is not like broken, dude. Like the entire OCG revolves around that. Eld looks, Eldritch looks like mediocre or look like mediocre zombies. Every everything does. Chad, if you look at again, I think it's because if you look at the deck building booster sets, chat, the archetypes that come out in them have been very weirdly designed. Sky Striker, one main deck monster. That's not usually how Yu-Gi-Oh's played, chat. Eldritch, one the main deck monster. Um Invoked one main deck monster. What's another one that's just like weirdly built uh, that ended up being really good? I'm trying to think if there's another one from a deck building pack where you're just like, why would they make an archetype like this? But it just it worked. Um, remember when people wanted Scarlet Limited Live Twin? I don't know if that one's weirdly built. That that one's kind of like regular because they've got few main deck monsters, few, but definitely like definitely Eldridge. Sky Striker and Invoked. You look at those and you're like, why would you build an archetype with like one monster? I mean, in Eldritch, like, wait, we have we only have one monster. The spells and none of the trap cards do anything unless we have this one specific monster. He's a high level monster on top of that. Like, this looks crappy. And then they end up being all, you know, like all those archetypes end up being busted. Nevis were running uh Karee Bandit and Eldritch. Um Drytron might be another example, chat. What were people saying about Drytron? 
Dry, dry, yeah, Drytron's another one. None of the mon- you can't- you can't normal summon any of the monsters. They're all level one. Like, it looked cute, chat. Like, oh, you ritual summon using the attack instead of levels. But, like, no one- no one was like, oh, this is- this is the fucking- this shit's gonna be tier zero. Like, no one said that. Everyone was like, oh, it's cute. It does- it looks interesting. You know what I mean? So, Drytron flopped in the- yeah, why- <laughs> I think we- we just talked about why, did we not, chat? <laughs> We just, we talked about why, because of this card. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think that, that might have been another reason, chat. Drytron, like, flopped into the OCG, so no one was like, oh, this deck's gonna be good. And then it came into TCG, like, oh, this shit's actually insane. When you don't have this card, this deck can wreck. Um, imagine if Jen was legal for Drytron. Would it work for them? I don't know what if, if it would work. Don't try trying half the ritual with with machines. Like ironic, I, I get what you're saying, Dark Emperor, but I don't I don't think they'd be able to use Jin. Cause they have to like ritual summon using machine monsters, chat, or am I just wrong? And Jin's probably a fairy. Plus with the to ritual summon and dry you need you need attack value. And Jin's probably what, like 300, 500, something like that. So Ironically, Jin would not actually work for Dry Charms. At least I don't think so. I could be wrong. But I don't know. That's just something that I was thinking about, chat. Invoked versus. How's this not safe for work? It's just a girl. This guy's just. Eh, well, okay. It's just a guy being a cleaner. You know what I mean? It's just a guy being a cleaner. Um. Run the Herald Ritual Spell. Oh, you mean Dawn of the Herald? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you ran Dawn of the Herald, it could, it could actually work. So Twitch Chat, I, I asked you guys earlier this week, but nobody went into detail. How has you guys week been, chat? I know this song too. Someone really likes um, Mystery. I, I think I downloaded this album. Cause like Ghost was first requested in this stream. And then I like, I like the song. So I'm like, I'm gonna download, I'm just gonna download this album. I tested versus Zesty yesterday. He's on Sword Sword Tenny. Oh, you mean for this format? Until um Until Brandon Fusion comes out. I mean I can I can understand that. Like I'm pretty sure so Oh, here's your bro. I'm pretty sure, chat, that like Sword Soul is not the most difficult deck to play. You know what I mean? Like once you figure out the Tenny lines, I don't really think there's not much thought process with the with the sword so hard, so I think you can just I don't wanna say autopilot, but it ain't that what's it called. Can I just say this? Does anyone find it just a little bizarre chat that Jabril is considered I don't wanna say pro player, because I feel like that term has kind of been watered down. But is, does anyone else just find it like insane that Jabril is considered like a top like upper echelon player now? Like he even has nine people watch he has almost ten people watching him. Like hanging on to it, it just like what? I I don't I don't know, Chad. <laughs> to me, it's like it's that's a, it's mind blowing. Like what? Like this Neva? Y'all think like he's he's a great player? Like really? Like, I don't know. 